Florida resident Marsha Thompson made national news this last week, week and a half, as she went to trial for the murder of her husband. Every single day of trial, I felt that we learned more and more about the intimate details of her relationship with her husband, Terry Thompson, and even what her friends and family were feeling about the relationship um, and the abuse that others have witnessed for years. Several of her friends, as well as Marsha, when they took the stand, got very emotional and cried, and that definitely hit home. I'm sure the jury noticed all the emotions, and I wouldn't be surprised if they got emotional too. It was clear how much Marsha is loved, and the pain that she endured for years was even hurting her friends because they loved her so much and she seems to be a genuinely kind person. She was saying, I can't, I can't leave him, I can't leave him. She was crying. Anything else? Marcia asked me not to call the police. She had been beaten pretty badly. How do you know that? What did you see? She looked like she had been through rounds of boxing, for like three rounds. Her hair, Marcia often wore her hair pulled back and her hair, it looked like somebody had like taken a chunk of her hair and dragged her. It was all pulled out and um, her face was very swollen. So more on the things that we did learn about her. She was a Customs and Border Protection Supervisor. Um, she had been in the military before college, but college is when she met her husband, Terry Thompson. Um, they were both attending University of Florida in 2000. Her husband, was the one and only relationship she had ever had before. And I thought that was important to highlight because she clearly went through things in her relationship that she didn't have another relationship to compare to. And she made the comment when she was on the stand that she never got attention from any guy up until that point. So I'm wondering if that also played a role into her staying into the relationship because she was afraid that there wouldn't ever be another guy to come along. And although she had great witnesses to go on stand for her defense, it was also hit home all of the times that she had gone to the doctors or the hospital. She had years of medical backing that the stories that are coming out are true. So evidence-wise, it made her case more of an open and shut kind of case. It left no stones unturned. So by the time that Marsha got on the stand to testify, the groundwork had already been set and was very obvious that the abuse had been going on for so long and all the things that she had put up with for so many years to make her reach that breaking point. Compared to the other wife murder cases that are being tried right now, I felt like hers was extremely obvious. I thought for sure the jury would find her not guilty, and so it came no surprise to me when they did indeed find her not guilty. It was also really sweet that when the verdict was read, her entire family started cheering and I think that's her grandma that stands up and starts a prayer immediately. Now the judge did not have that and she shut it down immediately, but Marcia had so much love and support from friends and family that they couldn't even contain themselves. Madam Clerk, please publish the verdict. In the Circuit Court of the 15th Judicial Circuit Criminal Division and in four Palm Beach County, Florida, Case number 19CF7582, Division U, State of Florida versus Marsha Thompson. Verdict, not guilty. <laughs> 
so then we move on to another trial that is wrapping up and that is the Ashley Benefield case. Ashley Benefield is also in Florida and accused of murdering her husband. And I have found her trial to be a lot harder to make a decision. Um, many people would say at this point that the state hasn't proved their case that she for sure did the shooting intentionally just to murder him and wasn't um, defending herself. So here's what we know currently. The couple had met when Ashley was 24 and Douglas was 54. Their relationship ended up lasting about three and a half to four years at the time of the shooting. Unlike Thompson's trial, Ashley did not have any friends or family take the stand to tell any stories about abuse that had happened or any hard-hitting evidence. There wasn't even any medical records brought into the trial, so it's very much so a he said, she said kind of scenario. And unfortunately, Douglas is not able to be here to present his side of the story. When Ashley took the stand, she detailed how and why the shooting occurred. She said that she felt unsafe and had no other way of protecting herself. With the trial wrapping up, I'm definitely interested in seeing what people think will be the verdict. Definitely leave comments below. Steen Ritchie is accused of killing her husband because she couldn't get over an affair he had. Christine says it was self-defense and that he was the aggressor. Both of the teen children took the stand. They detailed their parents' relationship with constant daily fighting and yelling, as well as their father suffering from a drinking problem. Kind of like with the Ashley Benefield case, Christine hasn't had a lot of factual evidence. The children's testimony was definitely the biggest factor to show a very bad and dangerous environment. In fact, one of her children were the ones who called the police the night that their father died. My heart really goes out to them. This week, the trial should conclude, so I will be doing a follow-up video over Benefields and Richie's verdicts.